greetings to everybody I wanted uh, uh, give an answer to Lori's post about the uh, about the mushrooms and stuff like that and uh, trees and uh, stumps and all this stuff so when I, when I started to do my uh, video today uh, I was getting prepared and uh, prepared some content and I saw Lori made another post so I guess I'll have a part number two but a little bit later so right now I'm gonna answer about the, uh, the last post uh, not this one but the one before about the trees stumps and all that so um, what do we have this is Machu Picchu well you know if uh, Lori is correct this is a huge stump and this one is just the side of it the side it is left but if we uh, look at it in this way we can figure out that this is um, a traces of an ancient mine just like we uh, were thinking uh, while discussing the mining process uh, you you want if you want to uh, le learn a lot about about this uh, mining you should uh, check on my video okay so uh, maybe it's a pyramid because uh, they just built a such such pyramid because uh, it it was a terrace and they thought it would be a step pyramid why not maybe it's like a Mexican one something like that but uh, it was m made uh, right on the s on the stump side the internal one so let's speculate on that. Or maybe this one is a uh, part of a broken tree just by this stump and uh, these are cells these are cells and these are terraces of the next mine well uh, there's a whole bunch of theories we can make on this one or maybe this one is damaged by, the by an explosion or something like that this is the central area and it's uh, uh, obviously uh, a household area you can see it's uh, neighborhoods of houses so uh, they found a lot of uh, uh, master shops and those and a lot of ceramics and also they found uh, a whole bunch of women so maybe this was a monastery mm -hmm. I don't know but when you come on top you see two different technologies a concrete base maybe it's a concrete maybe it's a rock or you can say it's a concrete because uh, why not why not make it concrete uh, and you can say this is a block wall uh, why not if you can say that if, if you can say that if you can suppose this is a cell structure why not you suppose it is a block wall okay so and what is this on top this is a monolith and this is a box this is the top of this rock well really it is the top of the rock and it was cut and I'll show you how well, it, it was a little bit bigger but you know some TV crane that it was uh, filming something here just uh, broke uh, about a foot or even more of a height of this thing so it's not the actual height I it's the top of a mountain but we see a lot of dirt here but it's not very big for, for a mountain but not very big right because you see this guy he is just standing over here and he is the same height as, as this uh, rock they call it a sun catcher a sun tire or something like that 
not tire but uh, when you tie tie something up you know like uh, a ship or a boat to uh, a pierce you know so they figured out that but it it was even uh, a version about the horse tie uh, but uh, I don't know how you say in English but uh, you know when they found out that the Indians didn't have any horses before Spanish came uh, they let this theory die but some guys think something else or maybe this is mother dirt from this uh, famous flood in 19th century maybe we can speculate on that too well, you know it's pretty silly to do this just for fun you know who could have done that you know this is maybe that's done by fire maybe Spaniards uh, build a fireplace here and then they just flush some water and it just you know uh, what do you say it's in English mm. cracked yeah it just cracked you know <laughs> I know this word okay so what else okay and you see this area this is this distance if it's the same rock and it is the same rock as they say and it's 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 obviously the same rock you know but they did a monstrous pain painstaking job you know to clear this thing to you know make it a plane make it flat imagine how many work have they done to cut all this stone on this distance it's about uh, 10 feet I think or maybe 15 feet of stone why just to make a flat they, they could have done it this way on this level not just cutting this one and this one why is that it's a just it's impossible it's uh, you cannot say it's rational to do that oh so uh, one version <laughs> one uh, theory says that uh, if it's a sun catcher then a sun god came on his temple of sun and he just ties with some you know uh, thing to this uh, sun catcher or something like that so it's a speculation and they they call it the white mara if you know what white mara is it's just a ufo object so right near this place a uh, whole bunch of stones over there and you can say wow this is how they you know broke those stones and make those those blocks on the top no Fi uh, originally it was made by two american tourists who tried to make a, a test and they did the same as they to were told by the uh, uh, excursion workers and they just uh, couldn't figure out how to finally crack this block so that's what they did you know this one block and this is block this is not very good for a block right so it's obviously not working and this is just close to this place and you see uh, You see, this is a a huge monolith blocks, and they are like designed for something. And we see those um, megalithic, you know, bricks and blocks that are a little bit smaller, but they still, you know, pretty huge and they fit right where those blocks need them to fit you know so what is this nobody knows and why did you use uh, those huge blocks if they can could do it like these blocks and maybe if this is a cell structure or, or a fiber structure like uh, Lori and guys suppose that every stone every rock is a cell structure and you can do those megalithic jobs with the cells because it was easy because it was a wood or some some fiber you can see this is not because why didn't they use all of these and they used this and you know they just mm, tried to uh, fit those small ones 
with no design purposes, you know, because it's not very pretty to see this and this. Or maybe it was just a reconstruction after a huge, huge disaster, and they they did what they they just uh, you know uh, found what is left from the uh, previous objects and figured out why not to reconstruct them with using those blocks because you know this is not matching and this is not the same as this side and if you build something with design you you match it and here they match this thing you know it's a design and it's a design why not design here and here because these stones are from the previous building and obviously uh, the guys who fixed this place were not as smart as the, the guys who built the first place which was probably broken by some disaster or heat or maybe a nuclear uh, heat or something like that so obviously we see this combination of reconstruction because you see those blocks are just fine you cannot put the knife blade and this is a huge block again which is uh, probably used and maybe this is the same guys who b build those blocks and this one and this one and this one is the signs of reconstructions after it see this monolith stair staircase or whatever you call it this is a stair and they made like a concrete technology you know so and this is on top of this uh, building this is called the holy stone and this is a temple of sun like they call it. So you see this combination of the monoliths, uh, blocks, which are supposedly or probably the cells, but you can see it's not because it's a combination and integration, nothing else. Oh, look at this. It's just a view from the bottom of this place, and you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, different other things you know these huge blocks you know just stuck together with small ones you know like this tiny ones and how do they still uh, stand this is in a earthquake earthquake place because they said this one cracked by an earthquake why this cool uh, cool and uh, hard um, not hard but um, decent maybe and uh, good standing building uh, after reconstructions it even maybe uh, how does it stand still if this is still standing and that cracked by the earthquake as they say they say it was a consequences of the earthquake <laughs> I don't believe them this is the view from the bottom or uh, from the other side and you can see again three technologies here you know if this is cell why we have such a huge cell just underneath it the code's not ripped oh oh okay this one i don't see any cells here it's just integrated in the rock you know this megalithic wall was integrated in rocks and this one proves it look at here okay so that's a grot underneath this tower and you can see it's a the same thing huge blocks huge blocks a rock or maybe a concrete technology and this is just terrific you know how did they do it and why did they do it no one knows just a small copy of a sun tire uh, sun catcher underneath in this graph so obviously the sun catcher is supposed to be inside something it's not an uh, astronomical device or maybe a calendar device it's just uh, something else look at this painstaking job why did they do this why what is this supposed to be 
instead of 80 miles away from that side we have another one just like that but with a smaller stone inside you know check it this one again the holy stone and the round wall and this one holy stone but a little bit huger and a long and a round wall the same block technology and these are not cells like what we showed us but but these are blocks so not every mega league wall is a is a cell this one probably just a, a block technology but maybe the uh, the stone is uh, taken from some cells maybe but still it's a pretty hard and useless job to gr grab some stone uh, drag it this way high on two or three thousand uh, feet up in a mountain and integrate it with some megalithic walls for no use for no reason for no explanation this is pretty insane if you know what I mean look at this uh, other one it's the same style as we had the first one same insane style it's cool of course and it's uh, uh, it fits in the logics th uh, of those megalithic uh, structures I showed in the video before when you have a huge huge ones uh, integrated in uh, some buildings huge stones huge rocks and they use them as a wall and this is a basement of this Sun temple you know of course they use it but they have integration and they have you know a whole bunch of the same so you see these this is an integration and that's an integration too this one is integrated and that's the view from the top of this one so it's a natural rock you know maybe it's an onion or something like that but I don't f feel any difference you know if it's a rock like we know the rock is like a stone type of rock or maybe it's a just a petrified onion or something like that we don't know yet we have to take analysis of those we have to take pieces of this and find out why we can call it this or that so this one is a pyramid of the moon or oh, temple of the moon just uh, near those two ones before so we have seen the signs of a flood in the 19th century because it was pretty easy to uh, figure out and uh, when you watch the, the video the first video that I published and uh, so the flood was and maybe this is a sign why not so what practical use can the sun catcher have if it's going to be covered like it is because uh, we had a lot of uh, explanations that it's a calendar it's an astronomical device and we have a lot of explanations but if it's underneath the roof in s inside the building you cannot see anything and this was the building obviously it was a building and it was covered with a roof and we have those signs uh, when we mm, try to find out about this object we have it so uh, if we have those objects like a sun catcher some guys say uh, the, uh, the the personnel that is working on this object after everybody leaves after all the tourists leave they just you know uh, clean and pick up some trash you know uh, just uh, dust every place you know wipe all this dust must <laughs> whatever so they do it every day and after uh, be while they doing it they see uh, in the dark like some objects with a sun or maybe a little bit um, more yellow uh, color like the plasmoid if you know what I mean 
like a plasma objects, like round plasma objects, just sneak inside this uh, stone top, you know, this uh, sun catcher. That's why maybe it's called sun catcher because it catches actual plasmoids and was used maybe like an energy production unit for those civilization who are using this temple, you know, because they were ecological civilization as we think because uh, they don't have any pollution after them look at us we have a trash oceans you know inside the pacific ocean we have a, a huge area of trash and it's growing every day and no one is doing anything about this so that civilization that built it it was just like us but they were more smart more ecological more more clever you know so that's my opinion and we can't judge anything before we take in any analysis but here I can prove and in my other videos I prove that nothing is that simple it's all a combination of something that's the natural purpose you know the natural purpose is to do something for the purpose everything is for the purpose but if we don't understand this purpose it doesn't mean this is a tree or well, maybe it's a tree but that's not the main idea because the idea that not to show us our our civilization that this civilization was building from the trees or something like that or maybe having some devices from the trees no, the purpose in is that we have to understand what are these objects are made for and why did they build it like this because that's the way you steal the technology if we understand the ancient technologies we can do whatever you know to you know we, we we're gonna do something we're gonna do something that's gonna have and it's gonna ha we're gonna have to change this world make it a better place like Michael Jackson said <laughs> so that's it for today if you want you, you can ask questions and write comments and uh, maybe I'm not quite on the topic but still I I see that we are getting nowhere discussing those slumps or whatever because it doesn't matter if it's slump or not yes maybe it's a slump just let us suppose like that but what else why are we not looking at these objects this is a natural plus technological plus ecological plus energy plus everything objects and we have it and we cannot see what it was designed and made for so that's the problem and we have it everywhere on our planet we think it's temples no but it's not obviously it's not a temple